Thanks for watching, folks. Around America we go. We stop in Big Spring, Texas to talk about over-the-road trucking. You know, the stuff, the way that stuff gets delivered to all of us. Don Olds joins us now. He's an instructor. He's a trucker. And we thank you for your time. Thank you uh, for being with us. You're welcome. Happy to be here. All right. Now, you've been a trucker for how long? Uh, I got my license in 1996, a little over 20 years now. And you have covered what? You said 2 million miles? Yes, that's correct. What led you to get into trucking? Uh, I grew up in it. My father started driving truck in 1969. All right, and I got to know you uh, through something called Deaf Truckers United. You've been teaching the deaf to be truckers for, what, five years now? Yes, that's correct. All right, so how did you get into that part of it? Uh, I seen it when the federal government decided to open, to, to hand out the federal hearing waivers to allow the deaf to drive truck. Uh, there's always been a hearing requirement needed for truck drivers. Well, now with all the new technology, they, it, it's kind of obsolete now. Oh, it's it's uh, now a new industry or a new job opportunities for the deaf community itself. All right, and in order to be able to touch, teach the deaf, you have to be able to communicate with them. And you, what, took two years of sign language. Yes, that's correct. There, there's other schools that are doing it, but they have to have a sign language interpreter in the classroom. And so you don't use an interpreter, right? No, I do not. All right. How do you find the work? Do you? I. I would assume that you enjoy this. Oh, I enjoy it. Yeah, it's it's a bigger challenge. Uh, I made it. The news of me doing this made it across the country in about seven days through the deaf community and technology. How many deaf truckers would you say are on the road now? Oh, a little over six hundred now. And you have probably instructed uh, several of those now. Yes, I've helped uh, between 20 and 25 of them. Now, coming up later this year is the Great American Trucking Show in Dallas. And this is, right, Don, a big deal for truckers. Why is that? Oh, it's all the industry's new technology, the new trucks, new ideas. Um, there's lots of job opportunities, job recruiters there. There's uh, the old trucks for show trucks, pride and polish shows. It's just a way for the trucking industry to come together and show the new and the old. And that's the Deaf Truckers United will meet there this year. And we'll all just gather around and talk about all our adventures that we've had. This may sound year. like a silly question, but how important is trucking to this country? Trucking is the only thing that moves this country. Uh, before all our towns were set up on a railroad now all our towns are spread away from the railroad because of the trucking industry instructor for the deaf to learn how to be truckers a trucker himself covering over two million miles in your career how much longer will you continue to be a trucker oh uh, they'll have to take the license away from me i won't give it up easily very nice not a lot of snow i take it in big spring at the moment no, it's about 54, 55 degrees outside right now, and the sun is shining. Oh, very nice. Don, thank you so much for taking the time. You bet. Stopping in Big Spring, Texas this time to talk about over-the-road trucking and the deaf community. For Newsnet, I'm Vic McCarty.